Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to have a quick overview of Acethinker video editing software. Uh, this is the one who sponsored my YouTube video. So first thing first, thank you Acethinker video editor for sponsoring my video. Well, with this video editor, you get all the tools you need to, uh, to create videos such as the split and trim and uh, crop tools and you can also rotate your video uh, you can edit the audio you can adjust the brightness increase the saturation contrast and also a bunch of different uh, filter transition and overlays uh, in my opinion I think this is a great software for beginners um, but maybe you want to uh, to try it yourself so I would put the link to download the software in the description and you can download and install this software completely free you don't have to provide any information to try the software uh, by the way there's some limitation in the free trial version if you want to access to all the features of the, the of the software you need to upgrade to uh, their vip account uh, which costs around 50 us dollar so yeah uh, check it out and before you download the software, um, make sure that your system requirement meet their minimum requirement. And it is available for win both Windows and Mac OS. Okay, so let me show you, uh, show you how to use the, the software. Let's go. Okay, so uh, now I, I am on their main, main website. Maybe you want to check it out if you want to learn more about this software. Uh, by the way, you have some button here. If you want to uh, download the software, you can click this button. Uh, click the free download button and talking about the minimum system requirement if you want to check it out you can also scroll down the page to the end of the page here and you can see this is a technical specs or minimum system requirement so you have windows and Macs. here's the hardware requirements you have the processor the ram and hard drive and also they support different formats of audio videos and images here by the way this is just the spec on the website you have to check it out yourself uh, to download and install the, the software on your computer and maybe you will know uh, if it is it is okay for your computer or not okay so once you download the software let's open a uh, thinker video editor now all right and uh, this is a start page of the program and as you can see that it is it looks uh, very similar to other video editor okay by the way you, here you have the aspect ratio so you can uh, click here to select an aspect ratio for your project so just 16 by 9 9 by 16 and also cinematic video and stuff like that you can select here uh, right here and then you have the um, the button to create a new project and open your uh, your recent project and you have an area for your recent project also. Uh, to create a new project, you can click this button to access to the main user interface. Okay, so this is the main user interface of Ace Thinker Video Editor. And I think it is very easy because it is similar to other video editor on the market. Uh, so you have a preview window on the right and you have the timeline at the bottom and you have the key folder here. Uh, so we have the media where you store your image, video, and audio, and sound effects and stuff like that. Uh, whatever you want to import into your project, you put it here in the media folder. And down here they have music, uh, music including uh, background music and sound effect. So for this video editor, they have about 87 different songs for you to use for your YouTube video. Uh, for your video, I'm sorry, not YouTube, maybe other place also. But I'm not 100% sure about the copyright issue if we use uh, this song in our video. So uh, whenever I make a YouTube video or stuff like that, I always go to YouTube library to download the music uh, for my video. Uh, but for the sound effect, maybe you can use uh, because uh, they have a different sound effect here. Uh, over 150 different sound effects for you to use in the video and I think it is very interesting so they have opening themes and radio frequency and also bird calls stuff like that uh, and down here we have some text uh, so they have some text template for you to add to your video and it is very easy all you need to do is to uh, click this plus button to add text to uh, the video okay so uh, make sure that you have a text track here uh, about this timeline they have only one video track uh, on the timeline and uh, on also other PIP track, text track and audio track and voiceover track. Okay, so this is a text uh, with some animation of course. And you can customize it by double click at the text title and you have some option to uh, 
uh, change the preset take preset here and also uh, some option for the title for example I can say here uh, my name Jackie Nguyen and I can change the fonts and the size and also many things okay size and shop and color uh, we can easily customize our text uh, with this video editor I think it's interesting and you can select the background also the background color also so we can change it to anything anything okay so that is for the text and for the transition they have uh, about 60 60 different built-in transition or uh, for you to uh, to choose and they have filters uh, about 60 also 60 uh, different kind of filter you to change the look of your video and they have overlay and element also okay so now I'm going to import some footage and show you I'll show you about other other tool here on the timeline okay uh, let's go back to the media and then to import the media we can double click at this area or we can open a, a folder on our computer and then drag and drop the video that you want to edit to, to this video editor okay supposing that I have some clip here uh, one two three four five six and uh, all I need to do is to drag and drop here at this area and being mentioned that this video editor support mp4 avi uh, MKV and I'm MOV uh, almost any any video format uh, on the market now okay so now we have uh, some video here at the media folder to preview them we can uh, double click uh, double click at the video on the, on here on the media folder okay so that is everything you want this is very nice right and in order to uh, import it to the timeline all we need to do is to click this plus button okay so when I click the plus button uh, it will be at the video track on the timeline for example here I want to split the the clip all I need to do is to uh, move the playhead to the position that I want to split uh, this button and then I can press this button to split okay easy right and now we can delete this one I just press the delete button now we have a clip here on the timeline and we can press this button to view everything and then we can play okay so that is everything you want to know about this software if you have any more okay and uh, what if i want to trim the clip to this uh, position then i can also move my cursor to the the right of the clip and then i'm going to click it and hold my mouse cursor to trim it very easy right okay so that is everything you want to know about this okay software. and for the title I can delete it now that is for the split and trim the clip and you can even crop the clip and also rotate the clip if you want uh, to do that you can select the clip on the timeline and then you can click this button to edit the clip uh, so when you uh, click the edit button you will open the property of the video uh, so this is a video property where you can change the speed for example here I want to make a slow motion video I can slide it to the left maybe by half and I can check this box to reverse the video okay so this is a reverse okay, clip so that is everything you want <laughs> very nice reverse and slow motion and you can also increase the speed or re uh, reset it to one uh, to normal speed and you can rotate the video like this and it is clockwise and you can flip it left right and flip it down and bottom very nice right and you can do the do it again to reset it to normal okay and that is for the video property uh, then we can click ok and we mentioned that on the timeline we have some more button here for example if you want to add a subtitle you can click this button to add a subtitle to your video uh, with this video editor you can insert an SRT uh, subtitle file also and you can crop the video uh, supposing that I want to crop to my face I can uh, just split the clip at this position then I'm going to click the crop button here and then I can adjust the crop area yes to my face Okay, at this position and I'm going to select the keep uh, keep aspect ratio also and then I'm going to click OK very nice 
So now we have a clip and a crop. So that is everything you want to know about this software. If you have any more question about it. Very nice. Uh, so there's a small button here, so just a zoom and pan and also mosaic to add a blur area to our face also. You have some more options here, such as the chroma cutout option and color correction. You click the color correction option. You can change the uh, contrast, for example, you can increase the contrast, increase the saturation or reduce the saturation also. Very nice. And you can adjust the brightness of your video uh, with this button okay and highlights and shadow okay so when you're happy you can click ok so that is some button here uh, for the chroma cut out you can import a green screen for example I have a green screen uh, let me double click here to import a green screen and go to my download I have a T-Rex here and let's click open okay so to to remove the, uh, the green background of the video, you need to put uh, put this video at the PIP track. So I'm going to click here this button to add it to this one and move it to the PIP track down here. And then I can select this button, chroma cut out, and then I'm going to select the color picker, select the green. Okay and then I'm, I can click OK so we have a, a dinosaur here, a T-Rex here and then we can just um, move him to this position okay next to my body and resize it to a small T-Rex small and cutie T-Rex let's play it very nice if you have any more okay. questions okay that is nice right and talking about the transition for example if we add some more clip to the timeline and make some cut and then we can add some transition okay for example at this position uh, here at this position I want to add a transition so all I need to do is to go to this folder here at the transition and now we can use uh, some viewing transition uh, such as the this whole transition here uh, just drag and drop it and put it uh, between the clip here and we have a this soul transition uh, between two, two clip okay let's play it now if you have any more question about it about wow very nice and being mentioned that you can uh, adjust the duration of the transition also uh, by double uh, double click at the transition and then you can change the duration here or you can um, you can move the, the mouse to the edge of the transition and then click and then you can extend the, the duration of the transition also okay and that is very easy uh, now I want to add some text here uh, for example my name or stuff like that so I can go to the text tool here and then I'm going to find uh, a text a title here and this one a subtitle so I'm going to click this plus button to add the text no but this software okay and then I'm going to move it to here and double click to customize it uh, let's say Jackie win and then I'm going to increase the size and move it to here and also I, I will select a motion for it so we go to the motion and then we are uh, going to select zoom in and let's double click at the zoom in option then go good I'm going to click OK and now we have a text here Thing you want to know about this software if you have any more questions very interesting right and this about is a transition uh, you have many other transition here uh, about the filter uh, you have two filter track in here on the timeline for example you want to change the look of your video and you don't want to uh, do the color grading uh, stuff or stuff like that you can just add a filter for example this one uh, food BBQ people press and view pay pew and film elegance and view summer okay and beauty yeah beauty I think beauty is the look fine for me so all I need to do is to click this button this plus button to edit to the timeline so we have filter uh, filter track here and then we can extend the duration to the end of the video 
or you can just right click at the filter and then you can click show to the end of the video it is very useful right and now we have a filter on the timeline very nice and this is before and this is after with the filter wow very nice and about the overlay and element you can do the same just uh, drag and drop them to the timeline and add an overlay to your video for example this one I can add this one uh, to the overlay track here and then I'm going to put it here mm. look very nice cool so the, the last thing I want to show you is to add the music and the sound effects so uh, we can go back to the folder here at the music you can select any music inside the program or you can import your own music and put it on the timeline for example this one the summer upbeat you can click this plus button again to add it to the the background music track here on the timeline uh, let's view everything on the timeline okay and you can trim the the music to the length of the video and also you can adjust the audio by double click at the audio track here and you can change the speed of the audio increase or reduce the volume of the background music and add fade in and fade out effect for your music also and if you have some voiceover you can use the sound changer to change the voice of your the, your voice to change the voice to different type which is echo, minion, minion, and monster, and female, and male, and stuff like that. Okay, and you can also increase them. And you can also select the voice enhancement to re remove the background noise uh, in your video, also. Okay, and then you can click OK. Uh, that's easy, right? All right, so it is very interesting to play around with this video editor. And if you're happy with everything here, you can export the video. So you can click this button to export the, the project yeah, into a video format that you want to upload to YouTube or share with your friends or stuff like that. And here you have some option for the video, subtitle and audio. Alright, so that is everything you want to know about this software. So if you want to have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to download and try the software and also let me know your, your opinion. Okay, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you're new here, consider to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.